What's the difference between a spotting scope like this and a straight spotting scope? When do you use this versus using this? So you have the styles. Have, yeah, so what we would call is eyepiece configuration. You have a straight eyepiece configuration. You have an angled eyepiece configuration. Really, it's, it's what's comfortable for you and the type of shooting that you're doing. So one thing I want you to do is I want you, with your naked eye, I want you to look out here and you see that house on the side of the hill? There's a snow patch. Yep. There's some pine trees around it. Yep. Now take a look through this micro razor spotter. Holy cats. And that thing weighs in at a, a little less than a 20 ounce bottle of soda. <laughs> you have to check this out. I'm serious, you have to check this out. That spotting scope has actually been a real big favorite with Western hunters, with backpackers. Yep. Um, you know, it's only 11 to 33 on the magnification range, but this is where I like to stress the optical quality over optical quantity, right? So rather than big numbers, I right. focus on glass quality and the optical system. And that spotting scope is actually one of the ones that really does that well. When a guy's looking for a pair of binoculars, how do you even start when you look out there and there's so many different pairs and brands of binoculars? Yep. How do, where do you start? Well, Vortex is a full line manufacturer, so you bring up a good point. We've got, you know, $130 binoculars, we have $280 binoculars, we have $500, and then we have $1,000 binoculars. So, the best thing that I would ask a customer is if they're looking for binoculars, is how much do you use it? Uh, if you're an archery hunter and you're going to be sitting in the stand all fall, your binoculars are probably the piece of gear that you use most, I would say. When it comes to bull hunting, being able to pattern the deer is, is huge. And you know, by having a good pair of binoculars, it helps you pattern the deer because you're seeing things that you're not gonna normally see with a, a your regular naked eye. You know, within Vortex, we have our crossfire line, we have our Diamondback, our Viper, and our Razor lines. And as you go up, you're gonna increase your ability to resolve detail. So when I say that, um, if you were looking through a, a pair of binoculars with lower resolution, you looked at a piece of brush, you might not see that one piece of brush that, that's actually an antler behind it. Right. right. You now you go up to a Viper, a Razor, something with ha uh, high density glass, now all of a sudden that detail becomes very apparent to you. And so having something with HD glass is gonna give you that low light performance, um, it's gonna give you the better image quality, the, the truer colors, and, uh, but that being said, you know, our Diamondback pair of binoculars have been some of the highest rated binoculars in the market, uh, especially at a sub $300 price point. You know, if a guy invests a lot of money into optics, you know, the big thing is warranty. What is the warranty on Vortex products? So our VIP warranty is a very important promise from us to the, to the end user, which really covers you for anything. So it doesn't matter if it's accidental, it doesn't matter uh, if your dog chews your binoculars, if your rifle falls Seriously? off. Seriously? Yeah, if your rifle falls off the four-wheeler and you run it over or whatever, it doesn't matter what happens. You leave something too close to a campfire, a uh, uh, plane goes down and it, you know, like we've had uh, bush planes go down and guys, thankfully guys got out, but there was a fire afterwards. We've had optics that get sent back in a little bag of ashes. <laughs> we cover it. Well, it's, it's part of what we do here at Vortex is we try and serve people as best as we can. It's how we started, and it's how we, uh, we currently run our company, and I don't see that changing anytime, so.